Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke and the forecast. Hi, Kristen. Good afternoon. Lots of sunshine for most of New Mexico. Beautiful weather in Albuquerque. There is a front that's pushing through far eastern New Mexico. It brought in the cloud cover earlier for the northeast. And we could see a few clouds moving to the southeast along with some winds occasionally gusting up near 30, 35 out near the Texas border. A little cooler out that way today, but this system moves on out very quickly. It's very weak, and so we're going to see everybody warm up tomorrow. It's going to be nice and warm starting tomorrow out east. And then for everybody, we're going to see that warm-up stick around into the weekend. Albuquerque, low to mid six today will be in the 70s by Thursday. Winds start to pick up again on Sunday and temperatures drop again by Monday. The man who admits he stormed into a home in Albuquerque and kidnapped a two-year-old a few years ago learned his fate today. A judge sentenced Furman Saavedra to two and a half years incarceration. The remaining one year is allowed to be on CCP followed by two years of supervised probation. He was given one and a half years of time served. Saavedra took a plea deal earlier this year, admitting that he and a woman broke into a home and took the little boy back in 2011. She turned herself in. The boy was okay. Prosecutors say they gave Saavedra the deal because a witness in the case was not cooperating with them. Get ready to see orange barrels up on the I-25 U.S. 550 interchange. Crews will spend this week putting up signs warning drivers that the construction will begin soon. The $19 million project is expected to take eight months. As crews work to improve the interchange, two lanes in each direction will remain open. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.